This is all part of that consent decree of the reforms in the aftermath of the Laquan McDonald shooting. And this firearms policy was actually a major hang-up point between the attorney general's office and the police department. And Monday was the target date for all of this to start. But a late challenge by the Fraternal Order of Police has changed all of that. It's definitely one of the more controversial parts of this consent decree and one of the more talked about reforms that's detailed inside of it. And here's how the new rule would actually work. In any situation, Situation where an officer points a gun at a person, they will have to do a radio in to the City Office of Emergency Management and Communications to report it. Their supervisor would then review the incident to make sure CPD policies were followed. Officers are also going to be required to provide their radio ID number and beat number, but not their badge number. Now, what the rule doesn't require is written documentation of the gun being pointed in the first place. Officers are also not going to have to report cases where they take the gun out of the holster or hold it at what's being called a low ready position. That means the gun is in the officer's hands, but not pointed at the person, uh, but actually facing downward. And the consent decree also calls for changes to how tasers are used. Police can no longer use it on a suspect who is running away, and officers will be required to offer first aid to anyone they use force against. Now, Graham says he fears officers are going to be hesitant to draw their weapons now and limit their ability to protect themselves. But Mayor Lori Lightfoot says the FOP delay has no basis, and it's going to cost the city more money in the long run if police reform doesn't happen immediately. There's safeguards that are built into the consent decree. Um, look, we've got to get past the point where the FOP reflexively believes that anything related to police reform is a problem. Now, Lightfoot says she met with FOP President Kevin Graham and says the meeting was actually pretty productive and believes they can come to some common ground on a lot of these reforms. This reform day is expected to be announced here in the near future by Chicago police. They expect it to be implemented in the next 30 days. I'm live from CPD headquarters, Brandon Pope, The Jam.